Brian here from Fitzpatrick's. Um, had a video on Santa Fe paddle shifters and then somebody asked about paddle shifters on a Kona hybrid. To be fair, Santa Fe, it's very straightforward. It goes up and down through the gears, even though it is a PHEV. This is a full hybrid, so it's non-plug-in Kona hybrid, but the paddle shifters do a lot more, actually. The reason I say they do a lot more is because there's two different modes. So we have a left or right here on this gearbox, so we can see we alternate between a drive mode, which is the blue background, and a sport mode, which is the red background. I'm gonna start off by showing you the eco background, which is the blue background. So back across into eco, and what you get here then in the center is a speedo, and you get an eco gauge here then instead of a rev counter on the right hand side. During this mode then, these paddle shifters left and right are for regenerative braking. So left increases how much um, regenerative braking occurs. So you see here, I have three levels. Level one being the least amount of resistance, level three being the most. As I'm approaching this roundabout in level three, I can feel a lot of resistance. So the car is actually kind of slowing down and coming out of a roundabout then I might decide I don't want it anymore. So I use the opposite paddle to get rid of the resistance. Just for the sake of a quick foundation, okay, because it's a Kona hybrid, you can have a setup basically where the petrol engine and the electric motor can work together to drive the wheels, or when it's an EV mode, it can actually just drive the wheels using the electric motor by itself, fine. Looking at the battery, however, the petrol engine can charge the electric motor, which also charges the battery. But as you can see here, the turning wheels can charge the electric motor, which charges the battery. So thinking about that then, if you want to be more efficient, it's ideal if the electric motor gets to charge the battery without actually any input from the uh, petrol engine. So that would be where the wheels would charge the electric motor and charge the battery. Obviously there's a limited amount it can do, but regenerative braking can help that. On a Kona hybrid then, when the engine is running, it will turn the wheels as we see at the bottom and it'll also charge the battery through that electric motor. As this car is hybrid though, we can see this is where it becomes efficient. So we can see in this case, the battery is driving the electric motor, which is driving the wheels. And so is the petrol engine as well, which is more efficient than petrol only. But then this is the really efficient part, full EV, where basically the battery is powering the electric motor, which is driving the wheels. So this is where the idea of regen comes in. It's important to keep as much power in the battery as possible because the more power the battery has, the more it can engage. So very simply, the regenerative braking, all it does is switch the direction of the motor. So the motor, as we saw already, was driving the wheels. Now when the wheels are turning, they're putting power up into the motor and that's going back up into the battery. So instead of wasting the energy that normally happens in a normal car from braking, we are now reabsorbing that energy from the braking process back up into the motor and that's charging the battery. Hence, that is regenerative braking. So we know about the eco function. Let's move across to sport and let's explain what the paddles are going to do in the sport mode. With the sport mode, you can see then there is now a rev counter where the eco function was. And all I'm doing here then is if I go up through gears, you see on the right hand side, that's to go from third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. Or if I want to go down the gears, then I can hit the brakes and on the left hand paddle, I can go, you know, fifth gear, fourth gear, third gear, second gear, etc. etc. And the whole idea is it just engages the driver and increases driving pleasure. Anyway, hopefully that video gives you a better idea how those paddle shifters work in the Kona and how the regenerative braking process works. Hopefully the video has been useful. Thanks a million for watching.